Yo! Welcome back to another Be Ghetto Travel Vlog. If you watched the last video, you know that I am currently in London. Okay, so I'm starting my Euro trip off here. I flew here from Amsterdam on Wednesday. Today is Saturday. So the previous video was Wednesday and Thursday. Yesterday, didn't film anything. Didn't really do much yesterday apart from I caught up with uh, a friend that I played cricket with back in Australia last summer season. Uh, so this time last year, I guess. So he lives here, we caught up down the road at one of the pubs here. I'm playing the footage overlaying my voice right now. So we went there, had a couple of drinks at the Ice Wharf, and then I just walked around Camden Market afterwards, explored the city that I'm staying in, or the suburb that I'm staying in, and yeah, I was pretty tipsy, so <laughs> I ended up going home and watching the first match of the NBA preseason here in the comfort, or actually the discomfort of my room, because this bed is like laying on a slab of concrete. Um, so I've actually been like putting the pillows down like an extra like bit of matting and sleeping on the pillows because I woke up the other day with bruised hips from how, how hard the bed is. Um, I don't know, maybe I've just got fucking soft skin, but god damn. Anyway, today's plans. This video is probably going to be today and tomorrow. And then the next one will be Monday leaving here and getting to Barcelona, etc. So today, uh, I believe... Well, right now I'm just going to go walk around and get some breakfast and in Camden area. And then I think around lunchtime I'm catching up with Ikea. We wanted to go to a football match today. Like Arsenal, whoever they're playing. Um, maybe Southampton. But the tickets are like completely sold out. And if you want resale tickets, they're fucking expensive. So I couldn't justify spending £300 or like $600 on a ticket to a football match when I don't really follow football. And tomorrow I'm going to the NFL. So that will be on this video as well. Let's just go outside the weather is horrible uh it's not raining but it is very very cold so i think chuck a jacket on and get outside and do a bit of exploring and then see where the day takes us i mean don't threaten me with a good time all right i ended up just going the cheap breakfast option by the creek at the ice wharf this is where i was for drinks yesterday as well this is only like four pound for this wild Wow, beautiful. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't really have much of a plan right now. I just had breakfast and I'm probably going to go back to the apartment for an hour or so until I uh, catch up with Ikea. To be honest, I probably didn't even need to come to fuck it. Like, I mean, I wanted to come here. The only reason I really came here was to go to the NFL. Probably didn't need to spend five days here. I could have, like, probably landed today and left on Monday. Or landed last night, left on Monday. But it doesn't matter. I wanted to get London out of the way before it got too cold later on in October in the midst of my Euro trip. So I want to go to warmer places as it goes. So London, Barcelona, Italy should be the warmest of all three. And then back to the dam for a little bit. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment down below some big ghetto banger suggestions. I can't ask for suggestions on what to do while I'm here because by the time you see this, I would have already gone. And I need to actually do a banger in this video. I think in the last one I only added Eye of the Tiger because of the zoo. So don't worry, I'll add some in this one. Feels like I'm still in Amsterdam. Got all the canals and the boats through here. Welcome to Camden Market, I guess. Wow, beautiful. Everything is just wow beautiful, but it's not actually wow beautiful. All right, time for a big ghetto banger. I thought this was fitting because I'm doing a Euro trip. So this song is Scotty Doesn't Know from the movie Euro Trip Uncut. Scotty doesn't know that he only ran me Do it in my van every Sunday She tells him she's in church but she doesn't go Still she's on her knees and Scotty doesn't know Oh, Scotty doesn't know well I'm in public at the train station and that was embarrassing Hopefully no one really heard me Ugh. And anyone would think I was going on an Arsenal game well, I'm not Although I am at Highbury and Islington Station waiting for I care to figure out what the fuck we're doing So this was my nickname in high school <laughs> right, well, we didn't go to a football match and we didn't even watch any football. We just went and drank a fair few drinks together. <laughs> Actual Coy doesn't want to be in it, wants to be in it. We'll be in tomorrow, NFL. Let's just, let's fast track. To the NFL match tomorrow. Few inches later. Right, we're in the bleachers. 
it's literally the highest seats in the whole stadium. So we're going to give our predictions. Vikings first guess. I'm going to go Vikings win 27 to 20. 27 to 20. I've got uh, Ikea with me right here. Hello. Vikings will win 30 to 20. 30 to 20 Vikings, says Ikea. It's very loud, so I don't know if you can hear me, but let's just, let's just watch the game. Yeah? Time, Vikings up 10 0. Aaron Rodgers sucks. Former MVP, dude sucks, he can't even make a pass. Had like three interceptions. Vikings right now. Let's go. Yeah! Touchdown! A touchdown! Ah, fucking football America! Woo! Yeah. Will the Jets score before half time? Probably not.
it's about damn time. It's good! Half time score, Jets 7, Vikings 17. But the Vikings have had control of the entire game. Three quarter time, Jets 10, Vikings 17. There's only one touchdown between them. Sweet Caroline, time never seen so good, so good, so good, so good. Close game in the end. Uh, Jets had a chance to win it in the last minute and they fumbled, they fucked up. So 23 to 17, final score. Good experience going to watch an NFL game. Unfortunately, had terrible company. With shit dance moves, but we move, we move. Anyway, I fly out of London 
uh, at like seven in the morning. So gotta head back now, pack, have some food, and go home. And then you'll see me tomorrow at the airport in Barcelona. As always, thanks for watching. Choose it, yeah.